Today we're going to be talking about composing team numbers. And we're going to do that using 10 frames and number bonds. First, let's review. Our team numbers are numbers 11 through 19. Say each number name as I touch it. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Great job. So let's talk about what does it mean to compose a number? It means that we're going to join groups or sets of numbers to make another number. So for today, we're going to join two sets of numbers to create a team number. Let's begin. First, we're going to use our 10 frames. So if you remember, a 10 frame holds 10 items. So this 10 frame is filled in, so I can see that I have 10 ones here. Now I'm going to put more ones in my other 10 frame. Let's count how many I have. One, two, three, four. Great job. So I have four ones on this side. So 10 ones and four ones. These are the two groups that we're going to join together to compose our team number. So when we do that, we create an equation. Since we're joining our groups, we're using the addition sign. So how many do we have here? That's right, we have 10 ones, which is what number? Great job, that's the number 10. Plus, how many more ones do we have over here? That's right, we have four ones. So when I join those numbers together, 10 plus four equals, what number do I get? I get my one group of 10 and my four ones, which creates my team number called 14. Now I can check my work by using my 10 frames. So remember, this is how many? That's right, this is 10. So if I keep counting, I say 10, count with me, 11, 12, 13, 14. Great job. 10 plus four equals 14. And that's how we compose a team number using 10 frames. Now let's do it a different way. Now we're going to use a tool that we used in our addition and subtraction to 10 unit called a number bond. And today we're going to compose a team number using our number bond. So remember when we use a number bond, it's a form of a part, part, whole mat. So these would be our parts and then we join them together to create our whole. So today we're going to compose a team number using a number bond. So you can see here, we have our 10 ones. And then down here, we're going to do the same example we did before. I'm going to draw some ones in there. How many ones did I draw? Count with me. One, two, three, four. I'm going to write the number four. Great job. And now it's time for me to put these two numbers or compose these values together. So let's go down below and let's write our equation. Do you remember how to do it using our 10 frame model? That's right, let's start here. How many ones did we have up at the top? That's right, we had 10. And how many more did we get? That's right, we got four more. So what team number does that make? 10 plus four equals our 110, our four ones equals 14. And if you want, we can write that number up here in our big circle. 10 ones and four ones 
equals 14, or 10 plus 4 equals 14. And that's how we compose a teen number using a number bond. Great job.